Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to explain about the non-monotonic logic. In my previous video, I explained about the physiologic. Now let's understand what is non-monotonic logic in this video. Okay, let's start. If you remember, I explained about this non-monotonic logic in my previous videos when I am uh, explaining the unit 1 about the reasoning. So I explained about like uh, monotonic and non-monotonic logic. If you are, if you watch those those videos, you will understand about briefly of uh, what is non-monotonic mon non-monotonic logic. Okay, I'll I'll revise. Don't worry. Monotonic means what and what non-monotonic means. Yes. So monotonic is nothing but if you make a conclusion. So for a thing, if you make a conclusion and if you add on any information to the concluded thing, there will be no change in the result. That is known as monotonic. Okay. Non-monotonic is completely opposite to the monotonic. So, if you add on any information to the concluded data, the result may change. That type of thing is known as non-monotonic logic. This thing I explained in my uh, previous videos when I, when, when I was explaining the unit 1 topics. Yeah, now let's understand more briefly on this uh, non-monotonic logic and what it is and everything I will be explaining you. Don't worry about this, okay? Yes, the non-monotonic logic is a key concept in knowledge representation. Yes or no? Yes. Enhan enhancing its signification in capturing the dynamic nature of real world reasoning process. So, when I am explaining about the reasoning, in that reasoning, I explain this concept. Yes or no? Yeah. Now, and this non-monotonic logic is extended from this monotonic logic. Yes or no? So, the completely opposite to the monotonic logic is non-monotonic logic. Yes or no? It's reversed to the this uh, monotonic logic. Okay? See, now look at the third point. Non-monotonic reasoning is a process that changes its direction or the value as the knowledge base increases. Means by adding the information to the existing data. It may change its direction or it may change its result as soon to the before result and the present result will change by adding, adding the information to the data that is known as non-monotonic logic. And this non-monotonic logic is also known as NMR means it is non-monotonic reasoning as soon it's simple. And non-monotonic reasoning will increase or the decrease based on the condition because based on the condition only this reasoning may increase or this can be decreased as soon as based on the information the information or the condition which was added to the already defined conclusion d depending upon the added information on the, the result will be based on yes or no the information which we have added to the conclusion it is completely based on the information which we have added yes or no yeah and this will be completely depending upon the assumption. What the assumption we have done to the conclusion. Yes or no? It will change itself with improving the knowledge or the facts. By adding the facts or the knowledge or the information to the thing. It will be changing by itself. Okay, now let's uh, see this example so that you can understand more clearly. Yeah, consider the bowl of water. Okay, take a bowl of water. If we put it on the stove and turn the flame on it, it absolutely boil hot. Yes or no? So, when the water is in the bowl, it will be in the normal state. But when we take this water to heat mode, when we keep this water in the stove, then will the water turns into the heat mode. Yes or no? Completely the cool condition will change into the heat condition. Yes or no? And as we will turn off the flame, it will cool down. Yes or no? After turning off the flame and if we keep the hot water aside for a half an hour or one hour, the complete water will turn into the cool mode state. So, how this water level is changing depending upon the situation, depending upon the condition. Yes or no? When we keep on the stove and if we turn on the flame, it completely heats. And if we turn off and keep it aside, for one hour or half an hour, it completely cools down. Depending upon the situation, depending upon the environment, temperature, it changes its situation, changes its result. Yes or no? By adding the heat mode, by 
by turning on the flame means we are adding some information to the water so first the water is in the normal state that is a con conclusion so by seeing the water in the normal state we'll be concluding that okay water will be in the normal state but if we keep that water the same water which is in the normal state into the stove the water converts into the heat mode now the concluded thing will change into the water will be in the heat mode again if we turn off the flame and if we keep the same water outside for a half an hour or one hour the same water will cool down now and if and concluded concluded data also concluded information also changes to the water will turn to cool means what depending upon the situation the water condition will be there as soon as so this is also one of the best example for this non monotonic logic let's see one more example which is a popular example now yeah this is a very popular example yeah now look at here you all know what the bird will be doing it will be fly as soon as all the birds will fly yes or no yeah so here they have said that bird will fly as or no bird will flies something bird will fly now and one more thing even the bird has wings all the birds can fly and all the birds will be having the wings this two condition all the birds will be having basic conditions for all the birds as or no so the birds can fly and has the wings but this is the concluded information or concluded data by seeing all the most of the birds will be concluding that all the birds can fly and all the birds have wings but we have one more condition added into this concluded information that is penguin penguin is also the bird yes or no penguin also comes under the bird category yes but if bird can fly penguin is also the bird then penguin also should fly no but penguin will not fly yes or no but even through the penguin is a bird but it cannot fly by adding this penguin as a bird condition to the concluded information which is bird can fly and has wings the complete concluded information has changed yes or no now by adding this condition the com concluded information is changed but penguin is also bird you are saying that birds can fly but pen penguin cannot fly no yes or no so this is the one ex best example for the mon non monotonic logic i think now you understood what is this non monotonic logic with these two examples okay now let's see some key concepts which are there in this non monotonic logic which is default reasoning auto epistemic logic circumscription and closed world assumption okay now let's understand what is the default reasoning so what is the default reasoning so based on some conditions we'll be concluding the thing but we don't know other conclusions like other conditions but without having that much knowledge on other conditions we'll be concluding the particular thing this example only without knowing that penguin cannot fly we have concluded that all the birds can fly as yes or no so that one the default reasoning by default will be considering that most of the birds can fly so that we have declared the conclusion as birds can fun fly but we don't know that penguin is also bird but pen penguin cannot fly as yes or no okay now next one is auto epistemic logic so in this they are saying that we have to extend this model logic so to allow this reasoning okay now circumscription so what is the circumscription so what is the circumscription so we have concluded that birds can fly without knowing that about the penguin we will be concluding that birds can fly so if we don't know that penguin is a bird but penguin cannot fly that information we will be concluding that birds can fly as soon as without knowing the penguins information without knowing the extra information which we have to add to the completed conclusion we'll be thinking that the concluded information is correct and it's proved by everyone okay yeah now next one is closed world assumption means assumes that what is not correctly known to the to be true and is false means what we have assumed 
will be thinking that that is true but it is false okay Now, here only we have think that bird can fly that is true statement we have concluded that okay it is true but that is not the true no yeah so what is happening here lack of knowledge lack of knowledge most of the people will think that like open world will be as if like most of the people will assume that birds can fly but they don't know about this penguins yes or no penguins cannot fly so this is basically uh, depends upon the lack of knowledge okay lack of knowledge of uh, people okay now let's see some applications in this um, non monotonic logic which is uh, handling the incomplete information modeling the human resources expert systems now let's see what is handling the incomplete information non monotonic logic is useful in databases and ai systems so mainly this non monotonic logic is um, helpful for the databases and ai systems as soon as so where they will be adding the extra information and later so if we see the database of the particular uh, college or the school they will be considering that okay we have the strength of the students has uh, like 20 members but after few days again five students added to the data which was uh, already created which is 20 students again the five students was added as soon as so this scenario will comes under the school permissives yes or no so this is also one type of a non monotonic logic so in the ai systems also so where the where not all the information is available so all the information all the correct information is not available incomplete information will be handling in this uh, allowing the systems to meet okay so the new data if the new members new students will come to the school of, after once created the strength everything was completed again if the five students again added to the database every database will be disturbed so this is incomplete information so this is this is one of the application now next one is modeling the human resource reasoning so this will completely depends upon the human common sense like it completely depends upon the new evidence so if you make any conclusion it should have some evidence for that conclusion so if we have evidence we can uh, define co the conclusion perfectly and if the again the new information will come we can show this evidence as yes or no so that is one of the thing and one more is expert system so that's it about this uh, non monotonic logic it is as simple it is no need to worry about this it's very easy okay if you understand it's very easy, simple yeah you can write in your own words if you understand the main what is this non monotonic logic you can write by your own words okay that's it for this video i think you understood about this uh, non monotonic logic but if you have still any doubts in this uh, non monotonic logic be free to comment in the comment section and that's it for this video thanks for watching let's meet in the next video